Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Excellent. Metros becomes in this year, 2020, 50 years old. There's no other manufacturer of valve test benches with a longer experience than we have. And this experience we would like to share with you. Today, I would like to introduce you our newest development, the CSV5200 in combination with our SV2400. This means you are able to test on a vertical clamping of the SV2400 safety relief valves with a diameter going up to 16 inch or DN400 and on a horizontal clamping of the CSV5200 you are able to test shutoff valves or control valves with a diameter going up to 8 inch or DN200. Furthermore, we have also integrated into the system as option or computer registration system, Metrus CRS. This system allows you to generate test certificates for control and shutter valves, but also for safety relief valves. And you can store everything in a database. If you would like to test also shutter off and control valves with bigger diameters, you still can use our so-called external test adapter with blind flanges to do so. This combined solution allows us to use the sources integrated in the control panel like high pressure water pump, um, high pressure gas accumulator, bladder accumulator, vacuum system and so on for both units. Let's start first in testing a safety relief valve on our SV2400 clamping unit. Here we have a manual hand clamping which allows us to clamp with a maximum force of 20 tons. On the control panel, panel is shown at which diameter is still allowed to test with which pressure. As test liquid, we can use water with pressures up to 600 bar or even so air generated by the air booster and air accumulator going up to 400 bar. To demonstrate you how such a set pressure test with water and air can be performed on a safety relief valve, Goethe Amaturen, one of our customers of the kind, to provide us this wonderful stainless steel safety relief valve. If you're interested in more information about Goethe Amaturen valves, please visit their website. If you would like to perform a safety relief valve test in using the CRS system, just push on start recording. Now the system is waiting for a pressure trigger, means as long there's no pressure inside, the measurement waits. If I open now the needle valve slowly to increase the test pressure, the measuring starts. And as soon I have reached the popping pressure. I wait until the pressure will not drop anymore. This is my reseat pressure and I open now the needle valve for releasing the pressure and the measurement will stop. The system shows me automatically the pop pressure which is at approximately 4.5 bar. So if you would like also to define the reseat pressure, just push here on reseat, place the cursor in the end of the graph and the reseat pressure will be also shown in your test certificate. So if I would like now to perform after the set pressure test, the seat leakage test, just switch over the diagram to the lower part where we are going to measure the seat leakage, we are going to close the outlet of the safety relief valve with a rubber plug connected via a hose to our measuring system. Then I'm going to start recording and also waiting for a pressure trigger. Means as soon the pressure will increase, the measurement will start. I need to adjust approximately 4.1 bar. As soon as I have achieved 
approximately the seed leakage pressure, we can see the airflow and finally also the bubbles per minute value will drop. Now we wait until the system has stabilized and wait for the result after measuring one minute. When the test is finished, you can also generate a test certificate in using the PDF button. And now this certificate will be stored on your computer or your network, showing you all valve data, customer data, the graphs of the test for the set pressure test and also the graph of the seat leakage test with this result. If we would like to perform a test with water, we must ensure that there will be no air trapped underneath the valve seat. When I start filling the valve from the bottom to the top with water, there will still remain some air trapped underneath the valve seat. This means the first set pressure test will not be performed with water as we want to. The first set pressure test will be made with the compressed air when the valve opens the first time. To avoid this, we will exhaust the remaining air first with our vacuum system, refill this area with water 100% underneath the valve seat prior to increase the test pressure until the set pressure. To demonstrate you this function, I have prepared a side glass with a blind flange on the top which allows us to have a look inside the body of a valve and to see what will happen if I start the vacuum system and refill afterwards with water. If I start the filling process first without evacuating the air, I can see that the side glass is not filled 100%. But if I remove the strapped air with our vacuum system first, and fill it with water as soon we have achieved a vacuum of approximately minus 0.9 bar, I can see that everything is filled 100% without enclosed air anymore. If you want to perform a set pressure test with water, use the vacuum first as learned before. And as soon as we have achieved the necessary vacuum, switch over to filling. And if we increase now the water pressure and using the needle valve for the water, we can see how the valve opens and we generate the first steady flow. If you would like to work now instead of the safety valve test bench SV2400 with the control and shutoff valve test bench CSV5200, just switch over to the right hand side. And now you can operate the CSV control and shutoff valve test bench via the control panel on the right hand side. Also here we are able to perform high pressure water test, low pressure air test for seat leakage test, and you can also control the actuator of the valve pneumatically if it is correct or not. All test values will be also shown and recorded on our computer registration system CRS. If you are interested to learn more about how to operate the control valve test bench CSV5200, please visit our website and go to the video section tutorial videos. There you can find a video called How to test the control valve. The entire functionality is shown there in detail. So the SV20 and CSV50 combination is the ideal solution 
for testing all kinds of valves, safety relief valves, shutoff valves, or control valves. If you're interested in more information, please let us know. Please understand that this video is not replacing the machine manual. And this reason I would like to please you to respect at any time your safety regulation in your surrounding. Please stay safe. Over and out. Excellent.